Hi, this is Kerry with DJI Colorado and Multicopter Warehouse. And today I'm going to show you the new DJI Mavic Mini. So this is the fly more combo that I have here. It comes in this carrying case. And inside we have the Mavic Mini, the remote control, and the charger. Now, even if you get the regular kit instead of the fly more combo, you do get a remote control. So that's nice. Let's take a look at this little guy. Talk about tiny. This is a iPhone 11 Max here. You can see it's really a little smaller than my smartphone and it's actually lighter than my phone. It's only 249 grams. So very, very lightweight. And when we open it up, it's gonna be just slightly larger than the Spark was. So that extra width is gonna give it some added stability. Uh, we've been out flying it indoors and outdoors to check the stability and the hovering, and it hovers great. It is rock solid in the sky, and it does have a three axis gimbal. So the footage is extremely stable. I'll show you some footage here to show you just how incredibly stable this thing is. And so we'll pull this little cover off and the camera actually looks a lot like the Osmo Pocket, but the, the lens has shifted over a little bit, but very, very handy. There's gonna be ND filters coming that are just magnetic that are just gonna pop on the front. That'll help with the footage. Uh, the uh, stability on this thing, second to none. Really fantastic, very surprising for its size. Now the sensor is a 1 2 thirds CMOS sensor. That's gonna give you 12 megapixel stills, and it's gonna shoot in 2.7K video. Now I've seen some discussion online about why isn't it 4K, but the reality is the vast majority of people that are gonna watch the content, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or on their phones, they're only gonna be watching it in either 720 or 1080. The big advantage of being able to shoot in 2.7K is to be able to edit it, be able to crop in, to reframe your shot, to add st stabilization if you need to, and then export it in 1080, and what you'll end up with is better looking 1080 than had you shot in 1080. So that 2.7K gives us a 1.5 times crop ratio that we can use to reframe the shot. So very happy that it at least is 2.7K versus the Spark, which was only 1080. Now, while it doesn't have all the intelligent flight modes of its bigger brothers, it does have a few really cool ones that can help you get cinematic shots. It has the rocket shot, which is just gonna back up and go straight up. It has the drony, which is gonna do a nice pull away shot. It has the circle, which will allow you to set a point of interest and it will circle around that. And it has helix, which is similar to the circle, but as it goes out, it's gonna add some distance to it and then come back, creating a very, very cool cinematic looking shot. Now let's take a look at some of the features of the Flymore combo. Like I said, you do get the carrying case, you get two additional batteries, and you get this three port charging hub. Now one of the interesting things about this charging hub is it not only has USB input to charge the batteries, it has USB output so you can use this to recharge your phone or your controller when you're out flying. The Flymore kit also includes these 360 degree prop guards. So if you do need to fly it inside or when you're getting just used to flying it for the first time, good quality prop guards can really save it if you happen to bump into something. But of course, our basic rules are to not crash, don't hit anything. To not hit anything, don't fly close to anything. So keep that in mind as well. But if you need to fly in close quarters, the Fly More combo does come with prop guards. Now, unlike some of the, the higher end models, this does not use the DJI Go 4 app. It uses a new app called DJI Fly. That's designed specifically for the Mavic Mini. Now, a couple of cool features about it is it has a 20% larger viewing area. So a little easier to see what you're doing, make sure you're not running into anything because there is no obstacle avoidance on here. So being able to see a little bit better what you're filming and where you're flying is gonna help keep you safe. Now the app also has a built-in editor. So you can edit your footage, you can add music to it. There's built-in music that you can just add to your stuff. You can crop, you can add some effects to it. And there's content templates 
that allow you to just really quickly select a handful of clips and it will create a video for you based on these different templates, making it real cool to just whip out something very quick that's gonna look really cool. Now also included in the Fly app is a complete tutorial that's gonna teach a new person how to fly. And I think that's really cool that they've added that in to help make new people safer and more confident before they go out and fly. But as we always recommend, the first time you put this thing in the air, you should be in a nice wide open area, kind of free from trees, just to kind of get used to the controls. But the built-in tutorial is gonna give you a lot of the information that you need to get started. As I mentioned earlier, there are two models of the Mavic Mini. There's the Mavic Mini, the basic package, which is gonna go for $399, and that's gonna get you the copter, a battery, and the remote control. The Fly More combo is $499, and again, gets you the copter, the remote control, three batteries, the carrying case, and the prop guards, and an additional set of props. So depending on your needs, you might want one or the other. Extra batteries will be available in the near future, so look for those to be coming out. Now also available is DJI Care Refresh. Now what that program is, it's a 12 month program that covers accidental damage. Now there is a manufacturer's warranty, so if there's something defective with the unit, that can be replaced in the first year. But Care Refresh is for accidental damage. So if you run into something and you break something, you wanna get it fixed, instead of paying a lot of money for that repair, you can use the Refresh program. Now, to purchase the Refresh program, upfront is $39. Now, if you crash it and it needs repair, that first replacement is only gonna cost you $40. If you do it a second time within that 12 months, a second replacement is only $49. So it's very, very inexpensive insurance to make sure that if you run into something and you crash it, that you're taken care of. Now granted, I've only had this thing for a very short period of time, but I have got it out and I've been able to fly it and really see what it was like. And honestly, I'm actually more impressed with it than I thought I would be. The stability is fantastic. The flight characteristics are nice. There's three different flight modes that are available. Now they're, they're not on the controller like they are on other machines. It's right there at the top left corner of the app. You can switch between position mode, which is the GPS positioning mode, sport mode, which is definitely gonna kick up the speed a little bit, and a new one called Cine Smooth, which if you're familiar with the other machines is kinda like tripod mode, where it's just gonna smooth out your stick inputs, give you just a, a better experience when you're flying to help you really nail those shots and keep that kind of movement from being too jerky. So that actually worked really, really well. So I was very impressed with that. The footage, I'm actually kind of impressed with the footage. We've thrown it into an editor, we played around with the coloring on it, and the footage is turning out really nice. While you don't have this variety of color profiles that you might have on the higher machine, the automatic mode on here is actually doing pretty well. Now, if you're in a situation where that exposure may change where you're going into the sun and away from the sun, it's probably best to lock the exposure. And that's just an icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You can adjust the exposure up and down, but I would lock that exposure so as you're moving, you don't get this exposure shift. So that's gonna really help you get better looking footage. But what we've been seeing is the footage edits really nicely. So the footage is 2.7K at 40 megabits. So it's gonna be pretty easy to work on, even on a fairly low end machine. You don't need a, a super high end beefy machine like you do with the Mavic 2 Pro when you're shooting D-Log and H.265 at 10 bit color. You get all that, you're gonna pay more for it. Something like this, you're gonna have very editing friendly footage and it looks pretty darn good. And there's enough latitude in there so that you can adjust the shadows, adjust the highlights, adjust the color, and get your footage to look pretty darn good. So overall, I'm gonna say I'm pretty impressed with it. For something that's this tiny and this inexpensive, what you're getting is a pretty darn good machine. So check it out. This is the Mavic Mini from DJI, just came out. These will be available in the stores on November 11th. 
So expect a big line outside of DJI Colorado here for people waiting to get their hands on one. So Mavic Mini, $399 for the base system, $499 for the fly mower combo here at Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado. This has been Kerry. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.